talking about hypertension of the body, you discover that, let me use this biro as an example, you discover that there's a fluid in this biro that we call ink. You discover that when you keep on using this biro, not always all the fluids that drains out when you to your writing period. You see that most of them, there will still be some patches left on the tube, in the tube inside. And the same is associated with uh, also vents and arteries of the human beings. It's what the normal blood is supposed to be produced and die within three months to, to four months. Have you ever asked where those dead blood uh, cells uh, go to? Most of them, that is why you do sometimes, you do uh, involve yourself in some, of, some form of uh, exercises, you mind the kind of food you eat and also the kind of drugs you, you take, people that abuse drugs and general part. So most of them, that when that uh, blood dies within a space of three to four months, you see that most of them does not really leave the body like that. How do they leave the body? Through defecation, through, through exercises, through uh, urination and and there are bad, but not most of them leave the blood vessels. You see them having small, 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 small patches uh, inside the blood vessels. A time will come when they will keep on piling up, and when they keep on piling up, it is that blood does not really flow freely. Because if blood tries to flow inside the, the vessel, you see it will, it will definitely encounter some form of clogging or obstruction in the way it flows. So that force that the blood uses to pass through those walls is what people normally, in a layman, is what we call the blood, uh, the high blood uh, pressure because you need a very high force to really penetrate, to really, because there are already, already obstruction, there are already patches like, but preventing free flow of uh, blood normally the way it's supposed to, to be.